Hey guys, Troy here again, and a couple of things. Uh, number one, first and foremost, I um, wanted to thank you, my viewers. Um, my channel has been growing. I've been doing this, doing the pen thing on YouTube for less than a year, and you've taken us from pretty much zero to 500 plus subscribers, and I'm thankful for that. When we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll have a pretty good giveaway uh, for you guys. But I uh, just want to extend my sincerest thanks. I do appreciate that. Uh, a couple of other housekeeping things, uh, follow-ups to previous videos. The Lamy Nex that I had, I did a review of that pen. One of the things I said about it was I had a scratchy nib, didn't write all that well, and it needed some nib smoothing. I've since smoothed out that nib. It writes a whole lot better now than it did. It's still not perfect perfect but it's getting there it's just about right uh, almost there so anyway uh, that does write a whole lot better and I shared with you on one of my previous pen mail videos um, that uh, I got this which was a Schaefer Imperial 2 uh, in it, the deluxe model, new old stock I've inked that sucker up and it writes very well so uh, did pretty good for something fresh out of the box so uh, new old stock from like the 50s, maybe 60s, and it still writes, fills perfectly. Can't argue with that. All right, here, I've got a box. So, let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Okay, lately I've been on kind of a buying spree, um, just because I could. And, uh, you know, previously I had gotten, uh, like with that Lamy Nex I just showed you, I would gotten that from Goulet. I went ahead and ordered this from Anderson Pens. And uh, just got this in the mail just a few minutes ago. I have obviously not opened it up. It's still sealed. Hence, uh, now that's a knife. Um, so that's my big old pocket knife. And let's go ahead and open this sucker up. I ordered this towards the end of last week, maybe Saturday, I guess. And today would be Wednesday. So that means they packaged it up and shipped it out on Monday. It took two days to get here with priority mail. One of the things I like about Anderson Pens as a consumer, as a customer, is that you don't pay extra for shipping if you're over 50 bucks. So, um, you know, they do offer the free domestic shipping for purchases over 50. So I took advantage of that, and I have several times. Oh, the obligatory styrofoam peanuts. Not a fan of so many peanuts, but... All right. Um, previously, I had shared that I had gotten um, a thing of... Uh, ink vials, sample vials, uh, that were going to be too small to fit in uh, those test tube holders, uh, but they would be fine for giveaway. Well, I got some so that I can, when I get to the bottom of an ink bottle, I can put these in here or storage or if I get some ink from an, a bizarre source. So I've got that in there. So let's keep digging. Let's take that out. Let's Pull out the bubble wrap thing. All right. Pull out the bubble wrap. Pull that out. Pull that out. Pull that out. And let's see if we're still on. Nope, still got more in here. So. All right, that appears to be just nothing but packing peanuts. Let me get the few that ended up here. All right, so let's start with a couple of things. Ink samples. I always like ink samples. You know, I had a few that were of interest to me um, that I've been wanting to get for a while in bottle form, but you know, I had the chance to buy some, and I probably should have. Uh, but I've got a lot of Robert Oster, and um, I've got... Um, you know, some other, uh, like, uh, Irish Green, a couple Mont Blanc inks in here that I haven't tried yet that I've been wanting to. I probably should have purchased a long time ago. <laughs> I just never have. Now, here is something I got that I thought was kind of neat. I saw it on the Andersons on their podcast. And it's, uh, this is what I think it is. And it's, yep, it is. Uh, this is a ballpoint. Now, why did I buy a ballpoint? Because I'm in the fountain pens. Well, there's a reason. Um, Matthew, when he goes to school, um, they may write with pens. It's easier to take a ballpoint. So, essentially, you flip it and it clicks. Flip and click. Not quite Harry Potter with swish and flick, but that's flip and click. Wingardium Leviosa. It didn't work for me. Alright, 
So anyway, um, that's a neat little ballpoint. I thought that uh, my son may enjoy that. That let's do this first. And one of the things that they have had going on at Anderson is the last chance page. They've whittled it down to less than um, 30 items left. And basically, they're clearing stuff out. The price will drop bit by bit until everything's gone. I've taken advantage of that previously uh, when they still had a decent selection. One of the things I wish I had done, though, is I wish there were a couple inks I wish I had purchased that I went back and they were gone later on, uh, like Peacock Blue from Papier Plume. This is another Papier Plume uh, ink, and this one is their Maroon. Not that I really like Maroon ink, but it was $5 off the normal price or so. Normal price is, is 12 and this was down about 7 bucks for a bottle. So I figured, what the heck, for that price, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. All right, let's go ahead and open this up because it's right here in front of me. Retro 1951. You'll uh, you'll see some people talk about these. You'll see uh, some of these reviewed, and then I decided it was time to go ahead and get one because I've been looking at them. Uh, this one right here. Oh, it was a snappy ballpoint. That's what this is called, is a snappy ballpoint. Oh, let's see. Looking down here. Ah. This is uh, Retro 51 in a cardboard tube. And you got that foam thing that it sits down inside here. And in here is where you've got converter. And their little booklet uh, on the pen. Right, so I'll throw those back in here. Uh, but this is the Retro 51 Tornado. I've seen it in copper. I've seen it a few others. I went ahead and I got the Black Cherry version because I thought it was a very pretty uh, version. First of all, I like black cherries. Uh, I like cherries in general. Uh, and I like this color compared to some of the others. So, you know, obviously it's a lacquered finish. And uh, let's see. And this is what their nib looks like. So, it's something that um, kind of had on my radar for a little while. Not a tremendous amount of time, but, uh, you know, I like the texture that Retro 51 does here. Uh, I like, you know, the style of clip. It's got the bifurcated clip up here, similar to the old Waterman's. It's a functional clip. So um, I'll be doing a review eventually on this particular pen. And, uh, you know, I got it just because I could. So Retro 51 Tornado. I look forward to playing with that. Um, let's do this one first. It had some booklets um, that were for sale. And they were not expensive. I think it was like $4.00. And uh, you know, just to disregard my phone, I forgot to put it on silent before I went ahead and recorded this. But this is the history of Schaefer, the history of Walter A. Schaefer and the W.A. Schaefer Pen Company. Um, a booklet uh, I was able to pick up, like I said, only four bucks. So, um, so if you're into history, they have these available um, over at uh, Anderson Pen Company. And then, I guess the last piece I got, something I had mentioned in a previous video, something I've been wanting to get for a little while, and I'm talking, well, I say a little while, months. Um, it's been on my radar screen ever since it was announced that they were coming. The familiar Lamy box. And I had mentioned that I wanted a Lamy Ion. I've heard it pronounced Ion, Aeon, and Eon, so go figure. And, of course, it only came with uh, a Lamy cartridge. And uh, I, I'll have to check to see if I got a Lamy converter. And it probably takes a, like a Z28. But, like I said, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I wanted it in black. I, um, I like the basic black. I would have settled for a really good price on the silver. Um, but I wasn't going to get a really good price on the silver. So, slip cut top. And it's got the Lamy, you know, the Lamy nib. Of course, I usually order mediums. 
just because I can and prefer. Oh, this one does come with a converter. What the heck? All right, I didn't think it did. Maybe, uh, maybe this order did come with it. Uh, anyway, well, actually, I got my little thing here, and let me take a look. Let me uh, ion black medium nib is all it says. So, um, anyway, was wanting one of these. I held off, hoping I get one for Christmas, but didn't. Uh, and uh, just because I could, I went ahead and got it. Now I've heard some complaining a little bit of wobble on the cap, and it's got just a tiny little bit. You got to you got to really shake it in order to, for it to. But um, I've seen some other folks do reviews of this already. I'll go ahead and do my own, um, just because it's my channel, not theirs. If you want to see a review before then, go to someone else's channel and go look. Hey, I do. <laughs> How do you think I found out and researched information for? Uh, pens I may want to have and for um, how to take care of pens, how to smooth nibs, uh, ideas for inks to get, um, and uh, just to see what's in other collections. So anyway, that's my first look at the Lamy Ion and getting the whole one in my hands. I really like it. So, so far, we'll see where it goes. I, I like a good weighted beefy pen in my hands. Uh, again, thank you folks so much for subscribing to my channel. Pass the word.